Ready? So this is the anterior side of the heart because it's the clean part, right? All you see is this nice pulmonary trunk. Okay. Pulmonary trunk. Here, this nice diagonal line right here is the anterior interventricular sulcus. Yeah, sulcus. Dividing the right side from the left side. And I know this is the left side because it's huge, right? Compared to the right. And the tip of the heart right here is called the apex. And it's made up of the left ventricle. So it has to be the left side. So following that this is the left side, I just keep going, so this has to be the left work wall, which makes this the right work wall. They sit on top of the atria, right? They increase the volume. For the posterior side, it's more, this sulcus is more vertical, okay? And this is gonna be the posterior interventricular sulcus, separating the right from the left. And there's my apex again. All the shiny that you see is the epicardium. If I open it up, the muscle is the myocardium, all that muscle. And then the lining, the shiny that you see, is the endocardium. Makes a nice, smooth flow. Okay. So now this right here is kind of a dark line right there. That's the interventricular septum, separating the right from the left. There's my apex again. Okay. So coming up here, here's my left atrium. Okay. Here's my bicuspid valve. Here's my chordae tendine attached to the papillary muscle right here. Okay. So the blood goes from the left atrium past the bicuspid to the left ventricle. Then it pumps up through my aortic and my lunar valve. It's a little flap. And it goes to the aorta. Okay, the one that comes off to the side on the right side is the brachiocephalic artery, right? Because right? remember, that's where you saw it on the rabbit, too, it was on the right side. The brachiocephalic went up and split. And also, look how much bigger this aorta is compared to the brachiocephalic, right? Because these are my two um, elastic arteries. They're the biggest one. Okay. Now, for the right side of the heart, you're going to see the right atrium. It's a space. I also know it's the right atrium because there's my coronary sinus, right? The left side didn't have that. Here's the large, wide tricuspid valve. Here's my chordae tendine, and there's the papillary muscle still. On the bottom of both ventricles, you'll see the trabeculae carni. Okay. And then once the blood goes from the right atrium to the right ventricle, it gets pumped out through the pulmonary sinus into the pulmonary trunk. And the last part, this is the posterior side of the heart. This little flap right here is going to be your inferior vena cava. And this is my superior up here. Okay? And I know that because if I put my fingers in it like that, it's like this. So this is inferior vena cava, superior vena cava. And both of them are in the right atrium. My fingers are touching and they're in the right atrium. Time. So my my pulmonary veins okay, are going to be here. It's easier to go from this view because I know pulmonary veins enters my left atrium, right? So I just find the vessel in the atrium, and there you go. So it has to be the pulmonary vein because it's going to the left side. Okay. That's it. Thank you. Thank you.